Hello, Hello, you guys. This is like the number one most requested video in the last three months that we've gotten was a first time story time. I guess y'all want to know. Yes, and you guys know, obviously, we had difficulties the first time we filmed it just because we didn't want to get in trouble on YouTube because they have some restrictions. So this will be like a P talk P around P the rated. bush type of version of that story. Let us get started. Time to dive into all the tea that you guys have been begging for. Let's the last do couple it. Months. Let's do it. Okay. So, oh, Willa decided to join us. Hi, sister. <laughs> okay, see ya. Where do we start? So you guys, I don't know if you guys saw or not, but we totally thought we were leaving in our car. And then we were actually surprised by my parents with a helicopter exit, which is yeah, like so bougie and crazy. insane. It was so crazy. It, it did not feel real. Like life didn't feel real. You would think that like, as we're getting on the helicopter, we would be thinking about the helicopter ride. No, the, all I could think about the entire helicopter ride is like, oh my gosh, I'm about to have, I'm about to have, the entire time and I'm literally like oh my gosh oh my gosh oh my gosh not that I was like scared per se it was just like kind of nervous yeah you know what I mean? for sure totally I mean don't get me wrong the helicopter ride was it was it, amazing it was so cool but, but there was something else on our mind yeah <laughs> Definitely, and I don't know if you guys know this, but Asa and I chose to wait until marriage to, you know, seal the deal. And that was just a personal choice that we made. Like, literally, kudos to you, whatever you just choose to do. That's why I was like, oh my gosh. It's kind of like silent. Like, me and Asa really weren't, like, talking. Yeah, they were like, oh, you have headsets, you can talk to each other. And we were just like, we were like, dead silent. Dead silent. I think both of us were just, like, trying to be like, oh my gosh, this is really happening. So, we land at this hotel, we get escorted into our hotel room we get in there and they've totally they meaning our the wedding team and our parents have totally decked out they, they have like sweets, flowers like, delivered and mm -hmm. a basket of treats and my mom wrote like funny little and like, very inappropriate jokes inappropriate on all of the puns. treats like all of them were just joking about our first time and obviously it was so it was really setting the mood oh yeah totally. but well we had been dancing for, for three hours by this point no so. literally we literally i danced my heart and soul out on that dance floor and so by the time i actually got to the hotel room it was like what oh 1 30 1 30 in the morning not really we left earlier than that Maybe probably 12 30. like midnight yeah. 12 30 and so it was late and I was like, so we were so exhausted. We were like, let's just take a shower. Yeah, we're we'll, like we'll just sweaty decide. and like my makeup and we're just like, and just get in the shower. So that kind of like was a really fun, intimate moment. Mm -hmm. Just like getting to like obviously shower together and like detox from the night. And nothing happens. Nothing happens. Nothing happens. And then I put this robe on after the shower and I go sit down and I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm so hungry. So I eat some of the snacks. Next thing I know, I'm asleep. She, she falls asleep with the strawberry. On head. my wedding night, Asa took a picture. It is so funny. It's, it's so, so funny. funny. Honestly, if anyone's gotten married and like partied their heart out, they might understand that like level of exhaustion. We've had some friends tell us that they they, that had the they same were the thing. same the same way. Like I literally, I don't get me wrong, I was so excited yeah. about like the intimacy moment, but I could not keep my eyes open. <laughs> so I got to chill, relax, sleep, shower, all that stuff, and then he came in, and we just were just chit chatting, talking and then it was like, it was time. Yeah, it's time. So weird. It's so strange because there's like so much build up and then you're like, okay, now? Wait, right now? You're like, wait, right now? Because mind you, like I said, we waited. So this had been like four and a half years really of us. Obviously we had intimate moments together, but there was always this line where you just stop. We had that boundary. And it was so weird sitting there thinking like, we don't have to like stop anymore. Yeah. Like we can actually do it. We can do whatever we want. <laughs> like we had like, to, to talk about it and basically he was like, are you ready? Are you okay with trying this out? And I was like, yeah, let's just let's, let's just, just give it a go. Try. Well, let me say this, like the main question we get is, was it awkward? How would you answer that? No, it wasn't awkward. It wasn't awkward like you're meeting someone for the first time, but like, 
almost anticipation. Like, uh, you ha you're you supposed to see a friend you haven't seen in two years. It's like you have all this anticipation and excitement. Yeah, kind of like the feeling at your birthday party where everyone's singing you happy birthday, but you don't know if you're supposed to be singing happy yeah. birthday to you yourself. Just look or you just sit there. It's like it's not really awkward, but it's like this is like so weird. Not, yeah, and I was strange. like, what do I do? Yeah. And we get to the point where it's like time to actually, you know, do the, the action. I just remember sitting there and I'm like, we have no idea what we're doing. Yeah. And the number one question that I got asked, like I don't want to make anyone uncomfortable or anything, but the number one top asked question is, did it hurt or was it uncomfortable for me? Really, no, it doesn't really, it didn't really hurt per se, especially for someone who never had done that before. You hear a lot of stories about how it can be really painful. I did not experience that. The best way I can describe it is when you go to the dentist and they put those like, cheek things in at like uncomfort level that you feel on your cheeks. You're all stretched out. Or you're just getting stretched. I'm comfy, but it wasn't like, ow, I mean, I'm the in best, so much pain. The best advice I can give is communicate with your partner and take it slow. Yeah. Because that's, if you just jump right into things, that's where you're gonna risk Which hurting that was, each other. Obviously that's what happened. Like we just took it really, really slow. I know when people say, like people always say like it gets better. Oh my gosh, like the first time it's not that great. Like it gets so much better, get so much better. It does get so much better. Like I don't disagree with that because you Definitely start figuring out yeah. what works, what doesn't, mm -hmm. what you like, what mm -hmm. you don't like. But I will say our first time was pretty great. Yeah, it was pretty good. There's like this this like really famous thing that one of my friends posted where a lot of people don't know, like they think that if you're waiting, that means you don't need to be educated. That leads you into like- That can result in some- Some, some a really bad situation. Situations. Yeah. Don't do that. Don't be that person. If you're waiting, educate yourself. You can look up in textbooks. You can look up safely, securely, like in a certain situation on the internet. Like you really had conversations with people. I had a ton of comp, ton of conversations with people. Like truthful, blatant, straight to the point, clear communication with a lot of people. Because a lot of people will not say it as is. They'll be like too embarrassed. Find somebody that will and talk to them. Absolutely. I also read a lot of articles about myself how there can be struggles, there can be things at work, what works for other people, stuff like that, so that I didn't leave my first time feeling like disappointed or frustrated or yes. confused. Yeah. Don't let anybody ever tell you that there's something wrong with figuring out how it works for yourself before you get into that situation. That's Absolutely. like not studying for a test and then just going in not having studied for a test and then expecting to get an A. It's yeah. like not gonna work. The other thing is just, again, yeah, communicate and talk to each other if something is not working. Don't be ashamed of that. Mm -hmm. Be be open and be willing to talk about that because you're gonna grow and you're gonna find something that you both like. Like that's pretty much the whole story time. That's There's true. not much else to say. Yeah, that was our first time and then our first week. And then, <laughs> and then the first week more. and now we're like four months down the road. Now if you want more info, follow me on Instagram. I have a highlight with like a Oh, she bunch does. of like links and stuff to things. Definitely. That would be really helpful. Oh yeah, I did have a couple people ask like after your first time, was it kind of like weird? Was it an easy transition getting back to that point? Or was was it, it just as awkward or uncomfortable? It was. Definitely more natural. It, it, second time. It, yeah, but it, it was definitely like. You're, you're still. I don't know how to explain it. You're it's still like, in the new kind of stages. Like in that first night, it's likely that you did not figure out everything. And the same thing happens the second, third time. I mean, it's gonna take a few times before you figure it out. Mm, do we like it? Yeah. <laughs> Are we having a good time? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but yeah, that pretty much sums up our first time story. I am so sorry if we didn't cover any questions you guys had. Hopefully we did for the most part. If not, you know, there's check, probably check more info Instagram. on my Instagram. You'll probably get more info. And I'm just, I hope that covered everything. And I'm just glad we were able to even have this conversation. This. So yeah. we're not. Thanks for putting putting up with the beating around the bush conversation. <laughs> we're not shy about it. Leave a comment if you have any other questions, and try to get back to you. Yeah, we'll see y'all next week. Bye. See ya. Bye.